I think it's zero degrees. It's not even 6 a.m. Jesus. So today is Sunday, next week is my final exam week ever of college, of education, academia, unless I do like a spontaneous masters in the next 10 or so years, but like I don't really see that happening. Um, yeah, and somehow my motivation is so low, so low. Um, I've been talking to my friends about it though and I think it's a universal feeling of burnout. I don't know about you but this year has just pushed me to the limits um, with everything that's been going on and doing final year online, like handing in my dissertation and all my essays from my bed just felt so underwhelming that like it's just so hard to motivate yourself for this final push because it doesn't really feel real. Um, and like logging out of our final lectures and Zoom classes in our pajamas, like, I don't know, there just hasn't really been like a definitive moment of like college ending that has made it easy to process. Like I feel like I'm having it, I'm having trouble processing like this period of my life being over because this whole year has just been such like a scam. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just been hard to process everything and yeah, this is such a big change in my life, like such an important period of my life is, is coming to an end and I just don't really know how to deal with it. Um, and like four years in Dublin, like Trinity was no, Trinity was like never my first choice um, and yeah I'd only really been to Dublin I think twice before I came here. I came whenever I was eight um, I think for my birthday and we had pizza in this like donkey restaurant in Temple Bar. I don't know if it's still there um, and then I came down whenever I was 17 with my boyfriend at the time. Was it 17 or 16? I don't know. Um, and we went on campus actually that time, went to Trinity, but yeah, I just never really considered I'd actually ever come here. It kind of just happened. 
because I got rejected from other places and long story short, one of the best decisions I ever made. I've been so happy here. Like I can't describe like how many amazing memories and times I've spent in Dublin and I think what's made it quite sad to try and like film the past few weeks is just like this isn't the Dublin that I love and that like I've known um like I feel like this year has so much potential um and I was so excited like over summer whenever I started getting to YouTube I was so excited to like film my final year and like be able to show you guys all the best spots in Dublin and take you along for So I just kind of feel like an annoyed at like the like the lack of things I've been able to do here in my final year. Um, obviously, it's not good to reflect on things that couldn't have been um, or like hypothetical situations. But like fucking hell, like Dublin is so amazing, and I just wish I was able to have my fourth and final year of college. I don't know, guys just feeling a bit weird. <sighs> bit sad, bit empty. I'm so excited for what's to come and I'm so excited for summer and I'm so hopeful for things to be happening, but I don't know, I feel like right now I'm like overwhelmed and lost and sad. Um, and I'm also on my period, which means I have to do my exams sitting in a fucking pool of my own blood for 24 hours. This isn't the last Dublin Diaries, by the way. Like, I'll still be here for a few more weeks. Just thought I'd give a little update on my feelings. Eleven o'clock, my exam's in an hour. I'm just having some toast before I go into the library. Um, not feeling too stressed, but you know what? I'm kinda excited. Let's just like get this over with, you know? Cheers. Mm -hmm. Wish me luck. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I'm about to go into the library. There's some building work going outside. But I'm about to go into the library do my exam. We'll probably spend like five or six hours there, come back, do some more work at home. Who knows if there'll be an all-nighter. Wish me luck. This is the fit, by the way. Just thrifted this. Um, got this in New York thrifted. Levi's, Converse. Think I have everything. <laughs> I just got back from the library. It is 10 p.m. I have no idea where the day's gone. I need to make dinner. Um, and I'm only halfway through this exam. Um, <laughs> I'm so tired already. I feel like it's definitely gonna be a late night, all nighter. Spend the majority of the day doing research for all the essays. It's basically 
two photograph analysis out of four and then two essays so about like 3,000 ish words in total but I've done one of the photo questions and basically done one of the essays so I'd say I'm like 45% of the way through <sighs> I'm going delirious um, <laughs> I'm gonna make myself some food though because I am so hungry I mean what else would I be eating at this hour I'll probably have it with some tofu and veg as well to fill myself up That's in the oven as well as I just finished my second essay question. I have 2,400 words, but it is five to two. I don't know where the time's going. It's literally beyond me, um, but I'm gonna go to bed for a bit, wake up at like quarter to six and try and get my final question done and then look over this before submitting. Night night. <laughs> I'm so tired. Good morning. I feel like it's better if I just leave my hood up. Um, it is 10 to 6. I actually woke up naturally. Um, I think I was having nightmares about not submitting this exam on time. And also the seagulls are so fucking loud this morning. So I'm up gonna text my friend to make sure she's awake. You know whenever you get up really early and your body's not really used to it, so you feel like ill. That was me this morning at like half five. I was like, ooh. <sighs> okay. done just 3700 words later i mean i think 500 words of that is bibliography but it's half 10 we're complete we are uploading my exam <sighs> i'm actually i think i'm happy with this okay here we go Yay! Thank God. Thank you. 